The film begins somewhere in a dark lab in which someone has been saved in a cryo chamber while we examine the display that powers the gadget it is found out that the person has been napping for extra than 17 years just then an alarm begins blaring inside the room and the cryo chamber opens the man who had been resting for nearly a long time finally wakes up he slowly appears around the area which appears to be some type of bunker rapidly after the unnamed man opens his oxygen mask and starts looking. The vicinity for food and different essentials abruptly the display warns him that the stress inside the bunker is ready to attain dangerous stages that means that he will need to evacuate quickly within the subsequent scene the man gets wearing an ultra protective healthy sees a few weapons and slowly exits the bunker for protection reasons he additionally wears a helmet that allows him to respire from inner quickly he climbs up the bunker and what he sees sends shivers down his backbone the Sector which become once sprawling with existence and greenery has been laid to finish waste due to a nuclear strike everything in the vicinity ranging from homes to the monuments or even the wildlife has been devastated there's not an unmarried signal of lifestyles and to make topics worse it maintains raining closely the rain contains radioactive factors so as to right away kill a residing organism the entirety appears so grim and darkish that the person regrets coming out of the cryo chamber chamber. But he still hopes that a person or something is there as the man is wandering across the vicinity he all at once gets a message on his monitor which tells him to move to a rendezvous factor the place is ready 10 kilometers away and through this desolate tract it's going to take hours to reach there in spite of this the guy believes that the risk is really worth taking he truly does not want to maintain dwelling on this dilapidated and eerie world on my own along the manner we notice numerous newspapers mendacity on the street which have the headlines of conflict this indicates that the world has been brought to this condition by means of a nuclear strike which turned into released because of struggle as the person proceeds further he comes across numerous deserted cars which have possibly been mendacity there for years and because of the excessive radiation their color has nearly come off in reality the whole region seems like a black and white film the whole thing is so depressing and tranquil nevertheless the hopeful guy keeps marching along with his gun in hand after some time he reaches a destroyed constructing which looks like a former government office the person quickly ventures internal attempting to discover something useful but to his dismay all he can get is palms on is a telephone which does not actually have a connection and via the looks of the area it appears as if the population left or died pretty some even as lower back inside the next scene the mangets out of the building and maintains his adventure lamentably whilst he attempts to navigate using his reveal it says no sign as a result he now has to stroll alongside without any steering at this factor he does not care if he dies or not he simply wants to engage with a person 17 lengthy years in the cryo chamber have taken a toll on him as he wonders and slowly proceeds forward suddenly his monitor beeps it tells him that the environment is secure and that he can breathe the air right I'd hear this makes the man extremely satisfied and he takes to the air his helmet then he feels the rain something which he hasn't experienced in a protracted long time the person makes certain to experience each second of it as nobody knows if it can be his last without a meals or right water supply the person may not even make it to the rendezvous point that has been assigned to him simply then the monitor beeps again and this time it indicates that a crew member is within the area in fact he or shays simply 205 meters away excited the person fast gathers his property and rushes to the region he is all over again hopeful that he can finally meet someone and share his sorrows and happiness with them however lamentably whilst he attain as the place he only reveals a helmet that belonged to the character the helmet is in horrific situation implying that its owner died a long term in the past there may be also a radio close by which became emitting the indicators to the man after the 
person sobs. For some time he takes the helmet to a close by place and gives its proprietor a proper burial grim and devastating times like those the person has some humanity left in him furthermore he even gets down on his knees and says a prayer hoping that the deceased might also eventually relaxation peacefully following this he receives up and keeps his adventure a few hours later the person walks to a one of a kind a part of the metropolis and reaches a destroyed residence he slowly goes in and finds. A few pics of a own family here it's revealed that the residents belong to none other than the unnamed guy himself within the photo we will see his loving spouse and their canine but it's been years because they surpassed away the man stares on the image for at the same time as and begins crying in depression then he keeps his adventure to the ravaged city we additionally get an aerial view of the area which seems not anything quick of an apocalyptic scene the whole lot is black and white. And the radiation has taken over the region we additionally see numerous wall posters which speak approximately warfare and killing the man seems over them for some time and taunts then he has a few canine food which might be the final meal he will ever have if he doesn't discover someone the man additionally tries to carry out his day generally through shaving his beard amidst the heavy rain he is taking out a razor and makes use of a broken glass to shave himself however as he's doing so the reveal which he became using for purchasing directions all of sudden turns off its battery has died and with that the person's most effective hope of getting assist additionally dies devastated he begins crying as if he's misplaced his own infant within the next scene the man climbs up the tallest constructing in the city to execute his very last plan because he would not have all and sundry to manual him through the destroyed vicinity he has to sign for help through the sky that is whilst he takes out a flare gun and blasts it up the person hopes that someone will locate it and sign it back for the primary couple of minutes not anything happens and the in prepares to go away however simply then someone fires again a flare gun indicating that there may be surely someone obtainable who's additionally been wandering the dilapidated city just like the guy excited the man quickly rushes inside the direction the flare got here from with the aid of this time it's also stopped raining just then. He notices a helmet on pinnacle of a car the guy desires to approach the man or woman however he's also wary of the chance subsequently he lurks from a corner and observes everything with the help of his binoculars but when he sees nobody he takes out his rifle and slowly proceeds equipped to stand anything's watching for him takes a protecting role near a car but a gun from the opposite direction whilst the man turns again he reveals a girl dressed within the equal protective tools as his gear weird up to shoot him the two who manifestly don't consider every other have an severe stare down for some time however once they recognize that it would simply be the two of them left on this global they lower their weapons no longer even a single word spoken however yet they understand every different right away the movie ends as the two examine each other hoping to begin a new life again please like share subscribe my channel for more videos